all children can learn. No matter what their level is, no matter what's in front of them. What's common among children, irrespective of what background and culture and country they, they come from, is the ability to succeed if given an opportunity. Prince George's County is one of the largest urban school districts in the nation. We have approximately um, 125,000 students. How you doing? Hey, good morning. It's a very diverse population. A lot of the families are low-income families. We also have a high English language learners population. Middle school is where the rubber actually meets the road. We see a lot of challenging opportunities with children who are, one day they are children, the next day they think they're adults. We've been able to give them the resources they need to be successful. And so in four of our middle schools here in Prince George's County, every child and every teacher in the building has an iPad. The wonderful thing about the Apple ecosystem is that all of the applications seamlessly work together. When you walk into a classroom, you see students working collaboratively. We've seen students make great books and iBooks offer and create content utilizing a variety of apps. You guys are working as a group, so divide up the work and it'll be a lot easier than one person doing it all. iPad opens up creativity and student choice, and that has really led to a further engagement. I teach science to students who are learning English as a second language. I've been focusing on iMovie, Pages, and Keynote. When the students were studying how cell division works, each group had to research a different type of cancer. More than one in five all cancer deaths were from lung cancer. And create an iMovie broadcast that shows symptoms, an overview of the type of cancer, some of the treatments, and then ask them what they thought would be a possible cure. It's a lot less just reading from the book, memorizing. Now it's interacting with the material in a way that makes sense with the students. We also see teachers creating more. They're building their own iTunes U courses to transform the way that they teach in the classroom. It's a more dynamic learning environment. Yeah, you can work on history. I created an iTunes U course. There are quizzes, videos, guiding questions to help them along. With iPads, students work through that course self-paced, which is really important because students are never all going to be on the same level. The current unit that my students are working on right now is where they get to design their own house using math-specific apps. They use numbers to create tables and other apps to calculate the total square footage and perimeters and how much materials cost. The iPad has all of the students' notes, movies, digital portfolios, and their courses are all on the iPad. From the student's perspective, the iPad is their life. <laughs> the environment is electrified, there's a different level of excitement. I've seen behaviors decrease. I've seen attendance increase. Our schools who are involved in this initiative are outperforming similar schools by double digits. In reading, we saw 35% increase. In math, we saw more than double increase in their performance. The results have really been very significant. The largest dinosaurs thrive in Jurassic country. Some of them were the Apatosaurus. I have a vision that we can chart a path for the future that will make a big difference for our children. And I think as significant as the teacher in a child's life are the resources and the uh, opportunities that a child has access to. With the iPad, we've been able to revolutionize education in such a way that it, it really does make a difference. Students, you have done some amazing, transformative things and I promise parents that students can learn and reach their highest level. With the iPad, I see a world where the students that we're working with really believe that there's endless opportunities. <laughs>